everyone. Hiya, it's Alice here from Sound of Love. Um, today we're going to be exploring all the different things that make us feel peaceful. So let me know in the chat if you can hear me and if you can see me. Hopefully you can hear it better too. So while we're waiting for everyone to join us, we're going to do a welcome song. And let me know in the chat who's here and how you're all getting on. So who's here and how are you getting on? Do tell me. now I can bring the microphone closer Rosie is very well that's lovely she's been looking forward to sound about all morning that makes me really really happy and we have Ethan here as well how is Ethan today hopefully my voice is louder excellent Rebecca says it's much better so let me know how you are today how is everyone today good afternoon Oh, let me scroll up. 
Rosie as well, and she's been looking forward to today. So Rosie's feeling well. Excellent. And have we got any other people telling me how you're feeling today? Let me know. Sammy says she's a funny noise. Excellent. We've got a funny noise from Sammy. Adam is being loud but hoping his session will calm him down. So let's make some nice loud sounds with Adam. Ready? Ah. Should we do that again? Ready? One, two, three. Really loud. Ah. So hopefully after the session, Adam will feel calm, a bit like Ethan feels calm today. So we all want to feel nice and calm and happy like Jordan. Okay, so we're going to sing our jambo. Let's see if I can remember who is here. There's quite a lot of us today. That's excellent. All right, so the first person who turned today was Rosie. So we're all going to sing jambo Rosie. Hello, Rosie. <laughs>
And finally, we've got Max. to be here today. I'm especially happy to be here because today our session is all about feeling peaceful and calm. So <clears throat> what we need to do is make sure everybody has brought two things with them. The first thing is something that makes you feel peaceful or calm. So for me, I've brought my candles. So I've got two candles and they're both blue, my favourite colour. So for me, when I put my candles on, when I run a bath, I feel very calm and really peaceful. So can everyone find something, if you haven't got it with you already, something that makes you feel calm and peaceful? It could be anything. And if you don't have something, maybe it could be something you could tell us about. So something that makes you feel calm and peaceful. And the second thing we need for today is an instrument that makes us feel calm. So for me, I've got my... Moshi drum, Koshi drum, Koshi. I always forget what it's called. I've got my Koshi drum, my Koshi. What instruments have you got that make you feel calm? Okay, so we're going to start off before we do anything with a musical massage, as we always do for all of our sessions. And while we're doing the musical massage, if you can make sure you've got an object that makes you feel calm and an instrument that makes you feel calm and peaceful. So let's start off with our musical massage. And we're going to start off with raindrops. Can we have some raindrops? And we're going to take these raindrops onto our heads. Raindrops on your head. And let's take these raindrops all around your face. And can you take the raindrops onto your shoulders? So we've got our raindrops, and then on our shoulders, we're going to go down our arms, and let's go down our other arm with our raindrops. And we do both our shoulders at the same time. Raindrops on our shoulders. Okay, and let's take these raindrops onto our stomachs, and the raindrops all down one leg and raindrops all down the other leg. We scatter the raindrops all over the room now, scatter the raindrops all around. Excellent, it's nice to see some of the um, instruments and different things people have brought along for today. It's really exciting. So before we go into that, we're gonna carry on with our musical massage. So keep letting me know in the chat what you've brought along that make you feel calm. So now we're gonna do our circle. So we get the palm of our hand, I'm going to go round in tiny little circles. Can we make tiny circles in the palms of our hands? Mm. 
maybe you can make a circle in the other hand. Okay, we're going to take these circles into our shoulders. We're going to make a shoulder circle. So if you're supporting someone, you can lift their shoulder from underneath and gently guide it back. Or maybe we can go down to our elbows and gently move our elbows round in small circles. And let's do some circles in our wrist on that same arm. So we're going to try all of that again on the other side. We're going to start off with some circles around our shoulders. So you can go from under the shoulder to help support. And we can try doing some circles with our elbows. Again, if you're supporting someone, you go under the arm, gently go round. And finally, make some circles on your wrists. Okay, we're going to do one more lot of circles with our whole arms going up and all the way around. So let's try some circles on one arm all the way up. circles and we're going to finish off with some sweeps we're going to sweep all the way down so we're going to count to three and after three we're going to do a big sweep i'm going to start off my head and go all the way down to our toes i'm going to use my heart for this so one two three okay let's do that again we're going to go from my head all the way down to our toes after three one two three we're going to try this one more time and we're going to go after three are you ready go from your head all the way down sweep down to your toes one two three okay so our body should be feeling nice and ready to go on our exciting journey today. So we've got some lovely things coming in with what people have brought today. Rebecca's got a rain stick. Rain always makes her feel peaceful. That's really nice. That's lovely to know because we were doing some raindrops there. And hopefully just doing our musical massage has made people feel a bit calmer as well. And so Sally and Adam have a kalimba and a weighted cushion. Oh, that sounds very nice. So a kalimba is kind of like a thumb piano. I think I've got one. Yep, I've got one. So we can play with our, in, our thumb pianos. And Sammy has got some floaty scarves and a harp. Oh, excellent. I've also got my harp, as we just heard. And I've also got some floaty scarves. That's really nice to know. We've got some floaty scarves. I've got three different colours in my scarves. Ah, we've just got somebody joining us. Jack has just joined us. Hello, Jack. So we're all going to join in and sing our Jambo to Jack. Welcome, Jack and Mary. Are we ready, everyone? So Jambo Jack. Jambo, Jambo, Jambo Jack. So Jack and Mary, if you can let us know what it is that makes you feel calm and peaceful. So you can have one object. For me, I've got my candles. And if I put my candles on, I feel very calm. And my instrument is my koshi. So if you can find an instrument, or it could be a sound or an object that make you feel calm and relaxed. Okay, so we're going to use our instruments and we're going to help make a sensory story with our instruments and the different things we brought of us to all the things that we do to make us feel peaceful. So we're going to start off with my one, which is having a bath. So <clears throat> we need, first of all, 
to run some water. So if you have an instrument that makes sound like running water, perhaps you've got your kalimba, perhaps you've got your rain stick, or like Rebecca does. And we're going to make the sound of water running in a bar. try and imagine putting our toes in the bar. So that's the sound of our bar. We're going to imagine dipping our toes in. Dip. 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 Dip your toes in the bath. So if you've got a drum, you're going to gently tap on the side like this. Let's try that again. So we've got the sound of our water running in the bath. We're going to dip our toes. Are you ready? Dip. Dip. It's still a little bit too hot. It's still a bit hot. It's still a bit too hot for me. Okay, it's starting to feel a bit nicer. So I'm gently going to ease myself into the bar. And I've got a piece of material. So if you have a piece of material, can you put your arm inside so you can hold it up and gently relax your arm in. We're going to let the water take the weight of our arm so we are relaxing and soothing ourselves in the water. Are you ready? So our arm is floating. Eventually, once I'm in the bath, I feel so relaxed. I've taken a big breath. And I feel really, really calm. So we're taking a big, deep breath. Now we're finally in the bath and we're feeling calm. So big breath in. Breath out. Ah, oh, brilliant. So, Ethan has said relaxing and calming songs. That's really good to know because I've got a really nice relaxing and calming song that I want to play to you on the harp after this. And Sammy's using her green scarf. It's really nice. So we're going to try again, taking a big deep breath in now, we're in the water and we're calm. Are we ready? Big breath in. And a breath out. <sighs> okay, we don't want to get too relaxed in the bath though. So while we're lying in the bath, I can hear in the distance, tapping on the window, some raindrops. So if you have your drum, can we make some really soft raindrops? 
So if you've got a drum at home, if you can get the fingertips or even your nails, and really gently make some raindrops. Really soft. This is what Rebecca finds soothing and when she finds peace. The sound of raindrops. Perhaps we can also hear some wind. gentle wind. Excellent. Okay. So we've had our being relaxed in the bath and then we can hear the sound of the raindrops. And Rebecca's even got a rain stick. So if you have a rain stick you can make join in with your rain sticks. So Adam and Sally have a kalimba and a weighted cushion. So that sounds like an excellent thing to do. So we're going to get out of the bath, it's raining. We've had a look at the rain out the window, we feel very relaxed. And we are going to find a really soft blanket or weighted cushion. I've got my favourite cushion with me. Of course it's blue. And we're just going to get really, really comfortable. So can you wrap yourself in your blanket or can you put your weighted cushion somewhere comfy? My blanket. And we've got the sound of a kalimba. Also sounds a little bit like raindrops. sitting here relaxing we're going to take another deep breath in so big breath in and out another breath in and a breath out excellent okay and then after we've been relaxing with our weighted cushions and blankets with a lovely sound of kalimbas and thumb pianos. We're going to have a song played on the harp because Sammy has got some floaty scarves and a harp. So if you've got a scarf or a harp you can join in. <clears throat> so if you've got your floaty scarves so we gently go from side to side maybe going round in circles making some beautiful patterns and I'm going to play for you a nice relaxing song on the harp and actually that works really well because Ethan likes relaxing and calming songs so this is excellent because we're going to use the harp to play a relaxing and calming song this is the song that I wrote it's all about being calm so just let me know if you can hear the harp Can you hear my harp? Can you hear the harp?
Okay, so that is a little song on the harp that I wrote all about feeling relaxed and peaceful and eventually growing as a person because you can feel the calm. So that was really nice because that's something for Ethan who likes a nice relaxing song and something for Sammy who likes the harp and she also has brought her scarves. Okay, so we've got someone else joining us. Hello, Lydia. No worries about being late. Tom, is it Tom and Lydia? We've got Tom and Lydia. So we're going to say Jambo, Tom and Lydia before we carry on. Jambo, 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 Tom and Lydia, Jambo, Jambo, Tom and Lydia, Jambo. Hello, 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 Tom and Lydia, hello, hello, Tom and Lydia. That is some of the things that make us feel nice and relaxed. Are there any more things that people do to make themselves feel relaxed? So far, we have had having a bath. We get in the bath and we feel calm and peaceful. And then, that was from me, Rebecca said she feels relaxed and she hears the raindrops. So we've got the sound of raindrops. And then we had after the sound of raindrops we had our weighted blanket our weighted cushion i've lost my cushion somewhere so we're going to have a nice blanket or cushion and try and relax and we have the sound of a kalimba and that was from ethan oh no sorry that was from adam and then after we had the relaxing sounds of our kalimbas and our weighted blankets. We had some music, some relaxing, calm music on the harp. And we also had some nice, lovely scarves. Has anyone else got any more relaxing things that they like to do? Any other things that make you feel peaceful and calm? Let us know in the chat. Has anybody else got any nice, peaceful things that they like to do? So while we've got our scarves, actually, something that's really nice that we can do with our harp as well, because Sammy's got a harp and a scarf, we can take a big breath in and lift our scarves up and then a big breath down. Or we can throw our scarves all the way up and catch them afterwards. So let's try taking a big breath in. And a breath down. <sighs> okay, so one more time, big breath in with our scarves going up. And a breath out, scarves going down. Excellent. Okay, so Mary and Jack like to watch floating bubbles. Oh, wow. I also really like watching floating bubbles. That's really nice. So we can make the sound of floating bubbles. What sound would sound like bubbles? Has anyone got any ideas? I'm having, having a look at my instruments. So have we got any instruments? That might sound like floating bubbles. I think my kosher might sound like bubbles. So we've got our floating bubbles. We're watching them float by in the sky and they're coming down. Maybe we're going to do a pop. Pop. Should we try another pop? We're going to do a pop. And another pop. Pop. And one more pop. Pop. Excellent. So Jack and Mary like to watch floating bubbles. Got a pop. And a pop. And another pop. we've had also this is a lovely one Lydia relaxes when we go for a walk oh I also love going for walks I live by the sea so I love going for a walk by the sea so let's get our drums we're going to imagine we're going to use our drums to make footsteps to go for a nice relaxing walk so have you got your drum and you can gently tap on the side of your drum 
And where are we going to go for a walk? Can anyone let me know in the chat? Where should we go for a walk today? Walking with Rosie. Oh, sorry, it's with Lydia. So we're walking with Lydia. We're walking in the woods. So we're going to walk in the woods. We're walking with Lydia. We're walking in the woods. What colours can we see? We're walking through the woods. Walking through the woods. We're walking through the woods. We're walking through the woods. So Lydia relaxes when you go for a walk through the woods. That sounds just absolutely perfect. So Ethan, oh, this sounds nice. Went for a walk in the park earlier and it was sunny. We're walking through the park, feeling the sun on our skin. We're walking through the park, feeling the sun on our skin. Ethan's walking through the park, feeling the sun on our skin. Feeling's walking through the park, feeling the sun on our skin. Oh, lovely. Sally and Adam have been for a walk. They like to walk around their local park as well. So that's really nice. Excellent. Walking through the park. Adam and Sally. They've been walking through their local park. Adam and Sally. And oh, Ethan's saying there's green grass and a tree. The green, green grass and the tree. The green, green grass and the trees And the blue sky The green, green grass and the trees The green, green grass and the trees The green, green grass and the trees And the blue, blue sky We're walking through the woods Then walking through the park Feel the sun shine on your skin and see the green, green grass. We're walking through the woods, then go walking to the park. Can you see the tree and the bright blue sky and the green grass smell so fresh? Oh, the smell of the fresh green grass. Oh, the smell of the fresh green grass. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I feel nice and relaxed now. That was really, really lovely. So Rosie has said that she loves listening to music. So that's also great because <clears throat> I found a really beautiful poem. And I played through, I, li I listened to the poem earlier. And then I thought, wow, this poem is so beautiful. I want to add some music to it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to listen going to listen to this music and the music I'm making in, in response to a beautiful poem here and the poem is called The Warmth of the Autumn Sun. of 
the brilliant sunshine as the shafts of birds arrive penetrates the greenish gloom in a honeyed golden blue feel the sunshine so this is a beautiful poem talking and playing the piano. Much easier to sing. Okay, so that is some of the most relaxing things we can do to feel peaceful and calm. So what we've got to do now is the opposite of feeling peaceful. What is the opposite of feeling peaceful? Can anyone give me an example? So I've got a nice example. Sometimes when I feel the most stressed out, is when I wait to get on a train, everyone's rushing past me and it's all hectic and it sounds a bit like this. It's the opposite of feeling peaceful. So if you've got a sound maker or an instrument, maybe a drum, can you try and make as much noise and be as loud as possible? Are we ready? Going to make as much noise as possible. Oh, Sammy's asked if I can flick my hair. There we are, a little flick. So we're going to make as much noise as possible. Is everyone ready? After three, one, two, three. Make as much noise as possible. And when I count to four, suddenly it's going to be really peaceful and calm. Ready? One, two, three, four. <sighs> So can anyone tell me something that is not relaxing? What can, what do you sometimes have to do or be somewhere that you feel really unpeaceful and uncalm? It's the opposite of feeling relaxed. Has anyone got anything? train station and everyone's rushing past and everyone's so fast and I do not feel calm I feel stressed then to feel calm I can just imagine for me the colour of blue the colour of teal the colour of the sea and I feel relaxed oh so Sammy really likes roller coasters now that is definitely not relaxing so but I think when you get off a roller coaster, your body is so excited that you must feel really calm. So let's imagine us being on a roller coaster ride. So we're going to go up and down and round. Wow, this is going to be fun. Okay, so are we ready? We're going to get on a roller coaster. It's going to be hectic. Let's go. We go up. Waiting. 
and we're waiting. We're still waiting. It feels like this queue is never going down. Everybody is sat, is stood up, looking miserable. No one is talking to each other. We can hear the tick tock of that clock. We're still waiting. Can you hear the tick tock of a clock? It's going tick tock. moved one space forward. Tick tock. Tock. Tick. We're still waiting. Let's count down from ten. And then when we get to one, we'll finally be at the front of the queue. Are we ready? Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. At last, we've made it. Woohoo! Now we've made it to the beginning of the queue. We'll take a big breath in. And out. I wonder what you were queuing for. I was queuing for some ice cream. Okay. So, we're coming to the end of our session now. That's been really, really fun. We've done quite a lot. We've explored some of the different ways we have to do things to make us feel relaxed. So for me to feel relaxed, I have to run a bath and light my candles. And I sit back and I go, ah. And we had some raindrops, the sound, the beautiful sound of raindrops. We had some sounds of kalimbas. We also had weighted blankets and going for some beautiful walks and feeling the sunshine on our faces, going through the woods, going to the park. And then we did some things that were the opposite of feeling relaxed. For example, going on a roller coaster, which is still fun, but that's not relaxing. It's not feeling peaceful, is it? And then we had the quite an opposite of feeling on a roller coaster, queuing. We have to stand or sit and just wait. So we did a lot today. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. That was really, really fun. So before we say goodbye, I've got another little poem for us to go through. I found some really, really lovely poems. Um, Where have I put it? And this poem is called The Dappled Light. And we're just going to read through the poem. I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to read half of it because it's quite long. And while I'm reading it, if you can just get yourselves really really comfortable. So this is called Dappled Light. What beauty shines in dappled lights, in misty morning air? What beauties cloaked in foggy mist, waiting to be shone? The light it changes endlessly, no view is ever twice. peaceful place, if only for a time, the comfort of love here found, that makes a house a home, horses graze to their delight, the moisture finds them, the rabbits hope, the birds all sing, the magpie glides around, few have seen this morning light, shining through the mist. Few there are that know the night, for Ron 
much as peacefulness. Here I sit in the morning light, the peace that fills my soul, refreshing rain. poem called Dappled Light by Bethany Daisy. Oh, Sam would like to say that she has a day centre on Monday. Oh, excellent. I hope you enjoy that, Sammy. So it's been really lovely today. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining in. We're going to sing our goodbye song, and then we'll count down from 10 to 1 before I say our final goodbyes. Goodbye, everybody. Have a lovely day. Two.